Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Sejanus his fall and we get to hear from Macro today in Act 4 Scene 2 which is kind of fun because this monologue is the entirety of Act 4 Scene 2. Now Macro, if you remember, is another sycophant on the Tiberius side of the political spectrum and Tiberius had called Macro in in the hopes that he can sort of undo Sejanus because Tiberius is now afraid that Sejanus is getting a little bit too big for his britches because Sejanus asked if he could marry Livia and Tiberius is like, why would she want to marry somebody like you? Like she's noble and you're not. So uh, Macro was instructed to spy on Sejanus and also the Agrippina crew because they could be causing some ruckus. But the main focus is spy on Sejanus and let's see if we can figure out a way to undo him. But then in act four, scene one, we got to hear the story and you know, it's a couple of hands later because we hear it from Nero who is Agrippina's son. We heard that while Tiberius was dining somewhere, the grotto where he was dining started to collapse and Sejanus like jumped up and shielded Tiberius with his own body so that Tiberius is safe and this has restored Tiberius faith in Sejanus like completely and and perhaps grown it some more so now Sejanus is like at the absolute height of his power so Macro comes in hearing about this story and he says returned so soon renewed in trust and grace is Caesar then so weak or hath the place, but wrought this alteration with the heir? And he, on next remove, will all repair. Macro, thou art engaged, and what before was public, now must be thy private more. The wheel of Caesar fitness did imply, but thine own fate confers necessity on thy employment and the thoughts born nearest unto ourselves move swiftest still and dearest if he recover thou art lost yea all the weight of preparation to his fall will turn on thee and crush thee therefore strike before he settle to prevent the like upon thyself he doth his vantage know that makes it home and gives the foremost blow. And that's the end of the scene. So Macro has heard that Sejanus is now back in Tiberius Good Graces and he's concerned about what that means for him. He's like, what do I do now? You know, I was able to run around and spy on Sejanus sort of in public, but I'm going to have to be super secretive about it now because everybody knows that Tiberius thinks Sejanus is great. So this is going to look really suspicious if I keep doing what I'm doing. And there's the possibility that if I keep doing what I'm doing and people notice and they see that this is happening, it could turn around and instead of all of this going to take Sejanus down, this could backfire on me and be my complete undoing. So what I need to do is I need to strike first because the person who strikes first is more likely to win and, and have the advantage. So Macro is all fired up to go after Sejanus. And yeah, that's act four, scene two. So at some point, Sejanus has to fall. That's the name of the, that's the, name of the play. Um, at some point, he's going to fall. Will it be through Macro? Will it be through Tiberius? Will it be the Agrippina group? Come on back tomorrow for more as we try to figure it out. I'll see you then. Mwah.